Well, hey friends. Today I'm here in my daughter's room because I wanted to share with you some simple toy organization strategies that we use to keep toy clutter at bay in our home. We have a very small house. I have two kids. They both have separate bedrooms and we have no playroom. So that means each kiddo just has one bedroom to contain all their toys and all of the things that go along with being a kid. So we have some really simple systems in place to help keep the toy clutter under control. So today I want to share with you those systems, but first let's talk about how to actually keep toy clutter under control. First things first, keep toys manageable. Because we live in such a small house and because my kids' rooms are the size that they are, which is very small, that means we don't have a lot of space or any space for large toys. What they have currently is all that they can keep. If they want something large, say like a toy workbench, a playhouse, something like that, something in their room has to go. So when it comes to things like Christmas and birthdays, we talk with the grandparents about gifts that would work well for our kids. The grandparents know that our kids have a small space anyways, so it's not like they're out trying to buy them huge things that will go in their room. But we get the conversation going about toys that will be appropriate for the space that we have. Next, I set up times throughout the year where I can go through all of the kids' toys and make sure that what they have is not broken, is in good working order, and is things that they are actually playing with. I typically go through their toys around Christmas time. Both their birthdays fall within two weeks of Christmas. I also tend to go through all of the toys seasonally. Since we're in a period of time where we're heading into summer, I recently went through all of the toys and I pulled out things that would be great to be used outdoors. So there were things that could be used for water toys, there were things that could be used in their playhouse outside, and there are toys that my kids kind of really aren't playing with, but they probably will play with them in a whole brand new setting. In fact, I know they will because when I was pulling out the toys, they were getting really excited about them. I wanted to play a lot with them while I was trying to weed them out. So another tip I want to leave you with is to keep the toy system manageable. If your kids can't put their toys away by themselves, you might want to rethink how you're actually storing the toys. My kids are two and five, and both kids, from the time that they were very little, like I'm talking able to walk, they were helping to learn to put away the toys. So the system that we did for toys needed to be manageable. So when they were younger, we simply just put all of the toys in bins. There was no rhyme or reason, nothing was organized or categorized. So that made it so that my kids were able to just be able to pick up the toys themselves. Which is another key. Start your kids young in learning how to pick up the toys. They always went to bed with a tidy, clean slate for the next day. It kept my sanity as a mom, but it also helped to instill good habits into my kids. They're still really young, but they do know that they have to pick up their toys every single day. So let's get into the toy systems. Here we go. So this system right here is in my daughter Aubrey's room, and this is the Trofast system from Ikea. This simple system is so great for kids who have lots of different types of toys. The bins are really easy to keep things organized and categorized if that's how you choose to keep your toys. Because my daughter is now at an age and a stage where she's learning to read and she's liking things to be a bit more organized, we have went through and designated different bins for different items. So let me give you a sneak peek of what some of the bins contain. So here in these top two drawers, these drawers are dedicated for her to have a space to keep special items. She's a bit of a pack rat, she's very sentimental, and while most kids could maybe get away with one drawer or one box or one bin, my daughter needs to. <laughs> So she keeps things in here that she does not want mommy to throw away. A lot of them are um, pieces of artwork that she's created, cards that she has for other people, and then just sentimental things along the way. So those true drawers are kept for that stuff. The two bins on the bottom are reserved for costumes, for dress up play, for doll accessories, things that would be used for imaginary play. There isn't much of a rhyme or reason what goes in either of these bins, but it's basically costumes and other accessories. This bin 
holds all of her games. She's got puzzles and Etch-a-Sketch, flashcard type games, Go Fish, Candyland, and Shoots and Ladders, and they all fit in this drawer. The next bin is for all of her animals. So this third bin down contains all of the things that she has for her Journey Girl doll. And so these are all of the clothes and accessories that go along with that doll. And my daughter absolutely loves pretend play with little figurines. And so in this bottom bin is where a lot of those larger pieces for the figurines live. So things like couches and bikes, playhouses, furniture, things of that nature. So here in this last set of bins, we've got all of her dolls. So Barbies, we've got different characters for some of, for her playhouse, um, just all kinds of other little people type dolls. So in this drawer here, this is where my daughter keeps all of her Playmobil accessories. This idea for organization was actually hers. I had purchased these little drawer systems from the Dollar Tree and I had planned to use them in my office for different supplies, but my daughter saw them and said, hey mom, these would be great for my Playmobiles, and she was absolutely right. So four of these drawer systems fit right across. These were a dollar each. And inside the little drawers, we have them divided up. So she's got a Christmas Playmobil set, and this is where all of the accessories that go for the Christmas tree are. Here's the Christmas tree. It wouldn't fit in the drawer system. She's got a bin for all of the people, all of their accessories. Basically, there's different categories for every single drawer. So this drawer is where we've done a lot of micro-organization as well. My daughter absolutely loves to play with very miniature, 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 tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces of things. <laughs> and so it can get very overwhelming to have all these super duper tiny pieces, to not be able to find what you need and it just everywhere. So what we have done is we've done a two-part organizing system. The first part is this container. I picked this up from the dollar store. So in here I have just got all of the little accessories that she could possibly need to go with her pretend play. There's no rhyme or reason for what is in this case. Because it is fairly shallow, she can easily kind of dump things out, look around, and figure out what it is that she needs. So speaking of micro-organization, what we've done inside of this bin is we have put these bins from the Dollar Tree. They come two to a package and are a dollar for the package. And what I've done is I've organized her Polly Pocket accessories. So all of the clothing pieces that we have for Polly Pocket are in this container. So then we have a container for the small Polly Pocket sets as well as all of the accessories, necklaces, wigs, hats, things like that for Polly Pocket right here. We have got all of the Polly Pocket dolls here. And then this bin is all for Polly Pocket purses. And then the Barbie container just goes right on top. The final bin holds all of my daughter's Lego accessories. She loves her Lego. Initially her Legos were in a smaller drawer, but we needed to move it to a bigger one because she kept just growing her collection. And that's the beauty of this system. You can easily move things around to accommodate your children's growing collections or their shrinking collections. Here we keep my daughter's playhouse. Because it is right near where her toy system is, she's able to use this dollhouse when she is playing. It's not located across the room, it's just right near where all of her accessories are, so she's able to have so much fun with this thing. Over here in the corner, this is where I keep the large accessories for her 18 inch doll. She has some things um, like a mirror and a coat rack and different things like that. And they didn't fit into the Trofast toy system, so we just have them tucked back here in the back. So here we are in my son's room, and this is the toy system that we have in his room. If you want a complete room tour, I will have that linked down below for you. But this system right here is the Expedit from Ikea. Now the Expedit is no longer available. It's actually a system called Kalax. And it's just a bit thinner, but the entire system works amazing. We've used this for now over a year and he has been able to put his toys away so well. So in these top few rows, I have on the very top, I've got items that I don't really want him to be playing with too much. He is able to play with the jack-in-the-box and the white basket holds his diapers and then the two stuffed animals are just sort of special stuffed animals for now. 
Um, and in the middle row, these are items that he can pull down and access and have a fun with. So the middle row is all toys that he can access very easily. He's able to pull all of these things down and play with them. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what is inside of each of these bins. This one contains stuffed animals, and I put it on top because this is easy for him to pull down. Um, they're nice and soft if it does happen to fall. And in the bin right next to it, again, we have more stuffed animals. Now, in this bottom basket here, this is where all of the random toys go. So there's blocks, there's figurines, there's phones, there's just all kinds of things that don't have a category. They all go in here. Now, this bin is closest to the door. So this bin, um, if I've got toys that I found in the living room or laying in the hall, it's just the easiest bin to kind of dump all of that stuff in. This bin has all of his books. Next to that are all of the mega blocks. Next we have a bin for planes, trains, automobiles, anything with wheels and anything that goes. This is one of his favorite bins. He is into this one constantly. This bin in the back holds all of the large toys that just don't really have a space anywhere else. There, there's a guitar, some swords, some, lots of loud things. And lastly, he has a bin for his animals. He does still have this toy left over from his baby days. Until we actually consign it, it just hangs out right here, and he actually still plays with it. So that is it for our toy organization. Hopefully you can take away some of these ideas. Keep your system simple. Keep toys manageable. Don't have an overabundance. Kids don't need the extra stimulation. Allow them the creativity and the ability to use their imagination by keeping toys within a real good limit. Keep the systems easy, keep them simple, and enjoy. Enjoy this fun time of life with children. It can be crazy, but it can be a lot of fun. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would love it if you became part of the Sweetly Home community. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will chat with you later. Bye.